here we have a 1992 Australian kookaburra. Made by Perthman, Australia, 20 years ago. And this coin looks just as good as the day it was minted. This th design I really like because the detail on it is very detailed, very meticulous design. This this kookaburra is sitting on a branch and it has its tail feathers up in the air. And it's a really nice coin. Um, <clears throat> it has the mirrored border and then the dots around the border are nice. I like that. But my favorite part about this coin is actually the obverse of the coin. And look at that. The same Queen Elizabeth, but it has the younger Queen Elizabeth, the younger picture of it. And it's really, it's really nice looking. I like these younger, these older coins because they have the younger obverse. And it's just good looking. Queen Elizabeth was pretty hot. But it has a, you know, the mirrored border and then the dots around the border too. That's something, those dots, they stopped doing that. I'm not sure why. I think around the same time they swapped out to the older portrait of her. But it has Queen Elizabeth, Australia, and $1 on the obverse of the coin. These coins, they have a mintage of... 192,000 but I actually did a little digging and I saw I'm not sure if it was true or not but I saw reports that they were going back and because apparently all these coins had a limited minage of 300,000 but 20 years ago the demand for bullion coins wasn't as high as it was now so they end up only going through 192,000 of this particular year and of a lot of the coins then in all through the, the through the 90s they didn't reach their mintage limit of 300,000 coins because the demand wasn't high so I heard they've been going back and re-minting all those old, old years to reach their mintage cap of 300,000 which is why these and a lot of the older Cookaburros have come back on the market recently, and that explains why this 20 year old coin looks like it was minted a couple of months ago because I believe it was. This coin was actually minted this year in, in 2012. Because I would, I would assume after 20 years, I mean, these are airtight, but I don't think they're actually airtight. I mean, I think if I threw this thing in a bucket of water and left it there for a day. There will be water inside of it, I'm, I'm guessing. I'm pretty sure. I'm willing to bet. I just think a 20-year-old coin would have some sort of toning on it. A little bit. Something. I just refuse to believe that all these coins that have recently come on the market is from some collector that sold his collection or something. They came from somewhere. And, and that's, where I, that's what I read, that they've been going and reminting all these old kookaburras to reach their mintage caps which is fine but which means the value of these older coins is gonna go way down in which it has I got this thing for about 30 bucks 30 33 dollars or something like that so but it is what it is but it works for me but that's just a little knowledge because a lot of times, especially when you buy from people, they'll try to sell to you based on, you know, well, this mint has a mintage of blah, de, blah, de, blah, de, blah, blah, so, I, you know, and ask for more or whatever. But that's why you got to stay informed about stuff like that. But it's good because, I mean, now these are on the market and you can get them. You can get all the other years for a decent price. But a complete set of kookaburras isn't really that valuable anyway I see them online and especially with them reminting all the coins that makes it pretty easily attainable now but it still would be cool to have I don't have a full set but I wish it did but I do like the kookaburras and whenever I get a chance I snatch one up and 
This is one I snatched up, and it's one it's one I really like. But I don't know. I think I might like it more for the averse than I do for the reverse. I think I might have a crush on Queen Elizabeth. I don't know. Or on, on the old queen, or the young Queen Elizabeth. I just think she was hot. Even by today's standards. and I don't know. This is probably her in her 20s. So she, this is probably like a portrait of her from like the 50s or something. Or, you know, 60s, 70s. But anyway, that's beside the point. Read it edge, one ounce, 92 Kookaburra. Nice coin. Thanks for watching. Rate this review.